Welcome! So, it's currently summer and I don't know if you knew, in Japan summer is a time for horror stories and ghost stories. Since it gives you, it's supposed to give you chills so it's going to cool you down, supposedly. I don't know. And that's why today I'm gonna talk about a horror manga. Meiko no Chigiri is a manga by Shibara Hiro and it started serializing in 2018. At the time of filming this video, three volumes have come out in total. The author seems to be relatively unknown so far. Um, on my anime list, for example, I haven't seen any reviews of any of his works. Previously, he's been doing some more slice of life type of things, so that's his first horror story. So before I tell you what this manga is about, Obviously, it's going to be a horror or a ghost story, so if you're not good with that, I'm not forcing you to watch. Our protagonist is Konuma Masakazu, and he is a teacher from Tokyo and he moves to Tohoku to teach there. Tohoku is the northeastern part in Japan. Their accent is a little painful to read, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry. And the reason for this move will be revealed in the first volume. So Konuma is not exactly the most popular guy, he talks about how he doesn't have any luck with women and also that all of his relationships lasted under a month, so he's like, what the fuck is my life? And on his way to Tohoku, he looks outside the train and he sees a black-haired girl just chilling in the fields and he just thinks she's weird. Her vibe is kind of off, but he doesn't think too deeply about it. But obviously, this girl is gonna play a role later. Then he starts his first day at school, he meets everybody, all the teachers, all the students, amongst them a delinquent student who's also gonna play a role later, I assume. So far I haven't seen a lot of him though. He also meets a female teacher who's called Mogami and I swear to god, she looks cross-eyed in every single picture. Everybody else looks fine, except for this woman. It's I can. So she offers to help him should he need anything to get settled, you know, it's just being nice to him. And obviously he's gonna develop an interest for her, seeing as how she's one of the younger people in this town and also his colleague, so it makes sense. The kids at school offer to take him around town and show him everything and show him the main attraction, you could say, of the town. And they lead him to a temple. It looks very normal. From the outside, nothing special, just a regular temple, but when they go in, Konuma discovers that everything is just loaded with pictures on the ceiling, on the walls, everywhere. The girl from before with the black hair also makes an appearance there, but she doesn't do or say anything interesting. A priest then enters the room, bids Konuma welcome and explains to him what these pictures mean. He explains that these pictures are called Meikon Ima. The group gather around the priest while he tells them that these pictures were made when a person died alone and was depicted with another person so that they would be joined together after death, so that they will find happiness after death. So basically that's a ghost marriage. Ghost marriages have existed in this real world and still exist to this day in some places. Mostly they happen in, as far as I know, in Europe, uh, specifically in France and in Asia, specifically in China. There are various types of ghost marriages. Sometimes both people are deceased, sometimes just one party. It varies from place to place and from custom to custom. And before I read this manga, I didn't know this existed even. I've never heard of it before. So see how we learn through manga. <laughs> so Konuma, when he hears this, thinks that's kind of weird, but he just accepts it at as the customs of the countryside. Around this time, he also starts having really strange dreams, but he doesn't think too deeply about it. He keeps on living his life, teaching away, one day going drinking with his colleagues, where they talk more about this Mekon tradition they have and making fun of it. And you know, other fun subjects like that. Meanwhile, the priest and another guy from the temple I'm not familiar with the hierarchy in there. <laughs> Discover something strange about Konuma. They find a picture of Konuma's own ghost wedding. So 
I won't spoil any more of the story. This is about what happens in the first chapter. So seeing as how they found a picture of Konoma and his own past ghost wedding, we can assume that this is going to be a ghost story. And I like things like that, especially these type of Japanese horror stories. The element of tradition and folklore gives it a nice touch. I definitely want to know what's going on with Konoma, what happened in his past. He just moved from Tokyo to the middle of nowhere and he talked about having troubles with women before. So if you consider the fact that he's had a ghost marriage, meaning he never married in real life when he was alive, it just all seems weird. In the first volume we also learn more about his troubled past, what else happened and why he moved away, as I said before. Now the style. The characters are all plain looking, which is fine, you know, whatever. Except for this woman. Why? Why is she cross-eyed all the fucking time? Oh my god. I just spit. This style is not really my favorite, which is a huge negative in manga for me. If I didn't care about the style, I could just go read a novel, right? And although I think the story is interesting, I just find that the suspense is not always very well portrayed visually. But I have to say, the setting is very natural and realistic, which makes it more relatable. You just kind of live his day-to-day -day life with him and it's easier to be shocked when something weird happens. And so far I've read mostly good reviews from Japanese readers, so I'd be really curious to think what international readers think about this. I hope it won't get super predictable, although most stories kind of are, especially when it's ghost stories. Like there's only so much you can do with that. Like you have this premise now, oh, so he used to be married maybe. Now is, is he a ghost? Is he gonna haunt the village? <laughs> Is his ghost wife gonna haunt him? You know? <laughs> well, and even if it gets predictable, I hope at least the execution will be better. I hope it will be executed well. Anyway, so far it seems interesting. I like this premise. What else did she write? If anybody reads it, please tell me what you think. I'll leave links where you can purchase it below. And yeah, I hope it goes in a good direction. I've only read one volume so far. Let's hope he's not gonna screw it up. As I said before, most people seem to enjoy this manga. As I said, I like this Japanese, this, this J-horror style. So yeah, if you're into that, I do recommend it. Please let me know what you think. And if you've made it so far, thank you for your time.